another part here. So remember we were talking about in the show when uh, Rhaenyra and Damon were having, you know, um, I wouldn't say relations, but there was some spark of interest in each other when they kind of snuck out. So in the book, though, it says sources differ, but Septon Eustace tale says that Rhaenyra and Damon were discovered in bed by Sir Eric with an A and she pleaded with her father to marry him but Viserys had Damon sent away and confided Rhaenyra to her chambers and told them both never to speak of it again that's entirely different <laughs> than what happened in the show so that's a really big one especially for the fact of Rhaenyra sticking up for Damon there Mushroom, this is on page 368, paragraph 3, uh, his tale discusses that Damon and Rhaenyra were going out, and Damon taught her how to pleasure a man with her mouth. That's uh, a little bit uh, interesting. It's a little bit more like how we saw in the show, but of course you can't really take it to that extent on a television show. But that's a little bit more the side there. So you're starting to kind of see like what they did to put on display for the show it was a little bit of a mix of both but of course Rhaenyra wasn't exactly sticking up for Damon either interesting and then the next one I'll turn it back over to you so Septon Eustace says Kristen Cole went to Rhaenyra when they had their relations in her bed chambers not in a ship where it was in the show and then asked her to leave with him uh, that was on uh, that was on the last paragraph of page 370 and mushroom claims that Rhaenyra went to Kristen Cole removed her clothes and offered him to take her virginity in the white sword tower but Cole would not sleep with her would not break his vows and be swayed but Harwin Strong desired her and she snuck out into the city and he took her virginity and that was on page 371 paragraph 3 so that's entirely different <laughs> from what happened because we know in the show Kristen Cole was breaking those vows there <laughs> from what I saw. So we're definitely seeing a big difference there. And then Harwin Strong in the show, he wasn't even really noticed prominently until after the big time jump. So that's a big deal. For sure. To back it up here to page 365... I want to mention this. Otto was stripped of his position because he badgered Viserys too much about naming Aegon heir. Where in the show, it's because of the spy that snitched on Rhaenyra and Daemon and Otto telling that info to the king and Rhaenyra getting Viserys to see that the plan is to make her look bad and to, to supplant her. So, it's just... In, in Fire and Blood, he was so much more direct about what the heck he wanted. He was badgering him and he said, I will not be hectored by, by my you know, counsel here. So, uh, that's a little bit like a little bit of a difference on that end. And then I will say this, because I think this is a big point. This isn't so much a difference, but this does really explain things a little bit. On page 366, already at this point, Allison and Rhaenyra were at odds, and we learned where the terms greens and blacks came from. Allison wore a green gown on her and Viserys' fifth anniversary, and in contrast to that, Rhaenyra dresses dramatically in Targaryen red and black. And so after that, it became customary to refer to the Queen's party as the Greens and the Princess's party as the Blacks. So definitely a huge thing there. And I, I just to, I, and Chase already went through this, but just to reiterate about the difference of accountings between Septon Eustace and Mushroom about, you know, what happened with Damon and Rhaenyra and all that. On page 368, Septon Eustace claims that Damon seduced Rhaenyra and claimed her maidenhood, and Sir Eric with an A discovered them in bed together and brought them before the king where... Rhaenyra confessed her love for Damon and asked Viserys to let her marry him, to which Viserys said no, and he also reminded them that Damon is already wed and made Damon leave King's Landing, commanding neither of them to speak of what happened. And Mushroom's story of what happened was Damon basically groomed her and helped her in her quest to get Sir Kristen Cole to love her by giving her kissing lessons, by showing her how to touch a man to bring him to pleasure. He even took her to Dragonstone to become... Uh, comfortable being fully naked around a man and had her practice the arts of pleasing a man with her mouth. And also Mushroom states that Damon would take her to the streets of Silk to observe men and women in the act of love and learn. And apparently Sir Kristen Cole was horrified and spurned her when she tried to use all of that which she learned, which is of course much different than the show. So a lot of that is what Chase went over. I just want to go into a little bit more detail. And it's interesting because you know, HBO has never been afraid to kind of push the boundaries on things, especially when it comes to Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. 
but they definitely did tone this down a little bit. But we also are, we have the knowledge that, hey, maybe none of these accountings are fully correct, and they maybe did shoot straight in the middle here between the two in, in a way. I mean, something useless doesn't really make sense, but, you know, on, on this part, anyways. 